So now, let us take a look at the Pythagorean theorem, a theorem that you know and love, and generally uh, written as c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And as soon as I write that formula, people are like, aha. But really, what it is, is the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. The sum of the squares of the other two sides. So example, find the missing side x for the following. And what I can see here is generally we like to call the hypotenuse c and the other side a and b. But I feel like we're sort of getting beyond that level. But regardless, I could say c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Now c squared is just really x. So it's x squared is equal to 9 squared plus 12 squared. So using my calculator here, I get x squared is equal to 81 plus 144. And just doing this really quickly in my calculator, I should have been more prepared. What I get is x squared is equal to 225. So if I take the square root of both sides, actually, we just did exponents, didn't we? If I take the square root of both sides, there he is, there we are, it's an equation. The square root of x squared can be simplified as x. The square root of 225 is 15. Now, let's take a look, go, always go back and take a look at my picture. That's 15. Is that right? I mean, it definitely seems right. 15 is in the neighborhood of 9 and 12. Also, 15 is the hypotenuse, which is the longest side. So this is looking very good. So for the next example, I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Now, it doesn't matter how you label these non-hypotenuse sides, a or b. So really, 10 squared is equal to, I'm going to say a, pardon me, in my diagram I called it x, didn't I? Uh, x squared plus 8 squared. So what I get, I'm just going to basically just do a little razzle-dazzle math here. And I have an, a linear equation that is x is equal to, uh, sorry, not linear, 100 is equal to x squared plus 64. Now, if I subtract 64 from both sides, I get x squared is equal to 36. Now, I don't like the way that looks, so I'm just going to write x squared is equal to 36. If I take the square root of both sides, what I get is x is equal to 6. And that actually makes good sense. So that's the Pythagorean theorem in a nutshell.